Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Felix Arts. This is the part four on how to shade on Sketchbook app. So guys, um, on on the last video I I did, um, I showed you guys um, how I add these shadows, how I add some shadings right here using the hard airbrush with this color. Okay, so um. What to do next in this video? Just to use your smudge brush. Use your smudge brush. Set the flow to to um, to four percent. It starts doing starts um, to blend. Let me take it to five percent. Then it starts blending. So, so guys you can see that um, I work with reference okay just to see what I'm doing I use the reference I work with reference So guys, um, you can see how I'm using this smudge brush to blend. I'm trying to get that actual, that actual lens on the neck part, because um, because um, I need to get it very well. Okay. So you can see I I just kept that that side then start using the smudge brush blend. So guys, you can see how, how I'm using this smudge brush to blend. Then you can still use the flow airbrush to add some some shadings. Then let me take the smudge brush to one percent. Then do some shadings here again. So guys, you can see how it is. Then I will still go back to this place here again. Use the hard airbrush to add some shadings like this. So there are there are two lines that curved. Um, I have to fix this part very well. I have to fix this part very well. Then use the smudge brush. Let me add some shadings right here. Then use the smudge brush to to create this other line inside like this. You can see. To um, create this type of line, you just need to take the the smudge brush. Just take just take just take the flow to just increase the flow. Just increase the flow, then you can start creating this line that you're seeing. So guys, um, you just need to look at the reference to know if you are getting it, cause mine looks somehow okay. Cause um, I need to fix this neck part very well. I need to fix it very well. 
because it's not looking exactly the way it is on the reference so I'm just making some adjustments just making some adjustments So now I can take the flow back to to five percent, then start doing some some adjustments right here. You can see. Then once you are done with that part, you can use your hard airbrush just to erase this part then take the flow to 3% then start to blend so now I can still add some shadings right here. I can just make it more dark. Okay. So guys you can see we are almost done with this neck part. You just need to be good with the smudge brush. You just need to be good with the smudge brush. Like I have to leave it the way it is like this. Just use a smudge brush to blend. Okay, you can see that it's okay like this. You can see. So now guys, um, what to do next? What we have left here is the ear. Okay, so um, I'll just go back to this layer right here. I can use this layer to shade the ear. Okay, or if you want, you can just if you want you can use any layer you, uh, you prefer but um, I'm going to use this layer right here then use the smudge brush set the flow to 6% then I'm just going to join this side like this I'm just going to join this side like this then join this side So what to do next? You can use your flow up your hard air brush, then use this color. Just use the light color. Then you just do some shadings. Okay. Do some shadings. You can see you can see how I'm doing the shadings. It just needs to follow the direction the way it is on the reference. Now I'm going to use the smudge brush to blend. You can take the flow to 12%, then it starts blending. So guys, um, I'm going to add some dark colors using the, using the uh, hard airbrush. So um, just use the dark airbrush, the hard airbrush to add some shadings inside. 
can also add here okay then use the smudge brush to blend okay you can see I'm using the, the smudge brush to blend Now I'm, sorry, I'm still going to add some shadings. Can use the um, can use the light color to add here like this. Can add some here like this. And add some shadings here again. Then add another one here again. Then use this smudge brush to blend. Let me set the flow to seven percent. So guys, let's keep on. Let's use the smudge brush to blend. Let's be using the smudge brush to blend. The way it is on the reference, use this. Just use the smudge brush. The smudge brush to blend all the shadings on here. I'm still going to add some shadings inside this ear side like this. Just add more shadings. Okay. Then use this mosh brush to blend. So guys, um, you can see how I'm using the 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 um, tools to to add colors. You can see I'm just using different type of of uh, brush to add colors. Now I'm going to add some colors here again. Then add use the dark color to add something here again so now we are done with that part now now we are done with that part and it's time to erase let me use the smudge brush to make everything look smooth then use the hard eraser to erase 
those shadings that you don't need again. So um, you can see we are almost done with this artwork. Now we are going to move to the to the uh, mouth part. So before we start doing the mouth, um, I will just use the smudge brush to smudge this edge, this part like this. Okay. Now what to do next? Just go back to your layer. You can create a new layer if you want. Okay. So um, just create a new layer. Okay. So once you create the new layer, you can use the um, the you can use the harder brush. Then use the light color. Then you start with the top like this. You just start adding something like this. Okay. Then you add the other side here again like this. Just add this side like this. Then you can see this is how it's gonna look like. So this is how it's going to look like. Like this. Just you just need to add more more shadings like this. Okay. So once you are done with that part, then you add from here. Make, make sure you are using the hard airbrush to add all these colors. So once you are done with that part, then use your use your um, flow airbrush, your smudge brush to blend. I'm going to set the flow to set the flow to four percent, and it starts to blend like this. Start to blend. Then move to the other side. Start to blend. You can see. So um, you just need to to work on the lips. Just do some adjustments. Okay, you can see. Then you can still use the dark color. You can use the dark color to add some. Just add add something like this here. Okay. So once you are done with that part, now you can um, use the dark color. When um, you can switch over to the hard airbrush, then use the dark color to add the final touch. You see, we are almost getting it. So just do it like that. Okay. Then use your smudge brush to blend. Take the flow to 6%, then drag it like this. Then you blend. I'm going to take the flow down to 3%, then you blend. So now the next part again, what to do next, use your, use your smudge brush, set the flow to 6%. Then you start drawing this side down like this.
you can see how I'm using the smudge brush to add all these patterns you just need to drag them like this you can see drag it like that now what to do next here is to add some shadings below the lips let's say uh, you know just um, like use your use your um, your flow airbrush then use this color just use the light color to add some shadings here just add it just look to add something here like this you see you can see that it's not the way it is on the reference but um, I'll use this smudge brush to adjust it you also use the smudge brush to adjust it so you can see that I'm just doing some some rough shadings then um, once I'm done with it I'll use the um, the smudge brush to blend so there's no need to panic Now use the smudge brush to blend. Use your smudge brush to blend. You see how I'm using the smudge brush to adjust the way it is on the reference. Okay, so like um, you just need to to take more time doing this type of um, artwork because it requires patience. So um, once you're done with that part, you can just take the flow to let's say 15 and start doing all these type of strokes. Okay, just start doing all these type of strokes. I'm going to add some shadings right here again. You can see that um, this mouth doesn't look exactly like like the reference itself. So I'm going to do it the way I'm seeing it. Just add some also adjust the lip size. You can see doing this type of artwork you just need to be patient. Okay, you can see I'm just trying to redo the amount again. Then I'll use the the hard eraser to erase that part. Then start smudging this particular side. So guys, if you look closely, the lips isn't um, is not that good, but um, I'm going to manage. Just manage it like that. Just do some final touch. Going to use some black colors to add this side right here.
then use the smudge brush set the flow to 11 percent then do some some strokes then blend this part like this So what to do next again is like I have to go back to this. Let me erase this side. Okay. So um, I will still need to do some adjustments. I'll just go back to this layer right here. This one. Then do some. I'm going to use the smudge brush. First of all, I'm going to use the hard eraser to erase this part. Then use the smudge brush. Set the flow to 4%, then start doing some shadings. You just need to blend this side like this. Let me take the flow to 2%, then start, then just make it look smooth. So um, I still need to add some dark, some dark shadings right here, so that it will look exactly the way it is, or the um, how to make it look good the way it is on the reference. Okay. Then use the smudge brush to blend. Just take the flow to 5%, then start blending like this. So, so guys, um, I won't lie. This this picture is very hard. It's very, very, it's very hard. You just need to be patient doing this type of work because um, there are lots of places that you can uh, you can't easily erase. Like you can't fix some parts because um, it's very complex. Because this photo has a lot going on. So I'm suspecting maybe it's from the lips because um, the way I the way I sketch the lips isn't looking that good. Okay, so I'm just have to do some adjustments, and it's good. Just want to check where yeah, I'm. Um, Everything looks good. Everything looks good. Okay. Everything looks looks good. Everything looks good. Everything here looks good. Still going to do some adjustment
So now guys, I'm going to stop from there, okay? I don't want to ruin the shadings. So I'll just go back to this layer again. That's, that's the nose part. Then add some shadings. Let's add some shadings here. Just add some shadings here like this. Okay. So now guys, I want to do next. What to do next in this video? Okay, now I'm going to um, color the eyes. Okay, I was going to color the eyes. So um, I will use this color. First of all, you just need to create a new layer. Okay, so once you create the new layer, then you can add your color. So I'm going to use, just go to the copy color. Then I'm going to use um, E50 or I'll use E70. So then I'll just color the eyes. Then color the other eyes. You can see. Now I'll go back to this layer right here. Go back to this layer. Then erase some parts. So once I'm done with that side, then I'm going to add going to add something here again. Just just lock the layer, okay? So once you lock the layer, then you can use your flow airbrush, then use the color black to add some dark shadows in the eyes. You see, just add some dark shadows in the eyes like that. Then you repeat the same process here again. So you so let's repeat the same process. Add some dark shadows here again. You can see. So next, um, what to do here again is to add. So if you want, you can add some details. If you want, you can add because um, the the um, reference doesn't have doesn't have any details. But um, I just want to add something here. see so um, you can see um, this is how it's done now um, I'm going to close this reference right here and then use the hard eraser to erase all these parts so once I'm done with that part now I'm going to I'm going to um, add some details. Okay, I'm going to add some details. So, um, what to do next here is just to create a new layer. You just go back to this font, um, to this layer right here. Then click the plus button to create a new uh, a new layer. Then I'm going to go back to this place. Just open this reference because uh, we are going to be uh, using the um, color from the. Um, Copic, like you use your copy color to add to add those details you need to add so um, you might be wondering what color to use on your artwork because um, um, this one here 
you just have to go back to your copy color you look for the colors that matches the face because you can see let's say i just use the color color picker to pick from the face like this okay then i'm going to put it here so like um, if you don't know any color to um how to use um like we have to um get the details you want you can use the copy color to pick from this then let's say you just try it for the first time so um once you open the uh, new layer just make sure that it's under these layers okay just make sure it's under these layers okay so um that's where the so um this layer right here this is where it is so you're just going to increase the size you use your flow airbrush so you just add something like this you can see then uh, it um, looks almost um, identical to the um, reference so um, I won't use that method but you can use that method if you want because um, um, I'm already used to the color um, to copy color so like I use copy color to pick from to um, um, pick uh, colors I want when adding details so um, I'm going to pick something like let's say I'm, I'm going to use YR16 then I'm going to test it so if it's not looking um, exactly the way it is then you can switch to YR07 can see so if that doesn't work then you can switch over to this color you can use YR12 so if that doesn't work I'm just going to use this one because uh, this because this color and this color is very good so um, you can use this YR07 or use YR04 just going to add it like this. You see. So once you add that first color, then you can switch to uh, to white arrow seven. Add some colors like this. Just add it. Then go back to this. YR04 add that one now um, some colors to to mix with, with it just use YR01 just adding I'm just adding lit, um, little details I'm going to use YR12, add some colors here like this. You can see you just need to use multiple colors. Okay, you need to use multiple colors. The way uh, the way you are seeing on this video, you just you just need to use multiple colors. So guys, you can see how I add details. Okay, I'm using the flow airbrush. I'm using the flow airbrush to add details. Now, if you want, you can still use the hard airbrush just to make it, just to make the lights look thick. You can see. 
Now at, at this particular side, this side, what to do here is that I will use the floor brush, then switch back to YRO7, then take the color down, then color it like this. Just going to make it look more dark. Okay, just make it just make that side look more dark. Okay, see. So um, at this point, you can see add some details if you want. Just go to this layer right here. Then click the plus button to create a new, a new layer. Then you can use those colors. You can use the you can use um YR12. Then use the smudge brush. Take the float to 16 and then start doing something like this. You see? Now once you are done with that part, you can use your 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 soft eraser to erase all these parts here. Just like that. Then uh, what to do next to the um, down part? You are still going to add some colors. Okay. I'll go back to this layer right here. To this layer, then use the Y um, use the Y arrow. Use the color Y zero zero zero. That is um triple zero. Then start adding some colors. I'm using the floor brush to add all these colors. Then you add the color from this side, then use a smudge brush to blend. You see? Now I'll go back to the air parts. So the air parts, I'm going to use this color. I'm going to use the white the R12. Can see. Then once you're done with that part, use the hard the um hard um eraser to erase all this part like this. Now we are going to paint the lips. You can create a new layer for that. Then use the pink color. You can use can use the pink color. You can use the white arrow. Um, the um, arrow 43 then just add some some pinkish color here see then add some little white lights here then you can add some details if you want some details in like this. Then we're going to go back to this layer again. Just go back to this layer, then add some details. I'm going to switch back to this color, then add some details. So to add that details, I need to open a different layer. I'll need to open different layer to add that details. So um, let's say I'll use this layer uh, at the top. Then add it like this. Then use the use this mesh brush to to blend. 
now i'll go back to this place again then switch back to y arrow um switch back to y arrow to y arrow 82 then add some light like this then add another one here again let's add another one here again like like, like this okay then add another one here again then use the smudge brush to blend you see take just take the flow to 11 percent then start doing some some blending so now guys um we need to add some dark shadings over here so i'll just go back to this layer okay let's go back to that layer then i'll add some dark color use the um, flow airbrush to add some dark color like this then use the hard eraser to erase then use the smudge brush to blend now use the smudge brush to blend like this then you are good to go so guys um, i'm going to stop here Okay, I'm going to stop here. Now I'm going to do some final touches on the face. Okay, now guys, um, this is how it's, it's um, going to be. Um, see you in the part five. Okay, because um, I will show you how to um, how to shade the clothes on the part five okay guys thanks for watching